Hi guys! Today's video is going to be the start of a new challenge video on my channel. Last night I saw one of Andrea Matalano's videos and it was called Project Pan. Basically what Project Pan is, is that you pick out products at the beginning of the year, products that might be expired by the end of the year and you need to use up all of that product, or products that you just would like to use up. I know for me, if I'm going to be spending a whole lot of money on a makeup product, I definitely want to be using it all up. I've never had this mentality before. I kind of like to save my really expensive highlighters or foundations for special occasions. But if you look on the back of your makeup, it tells you how long that makeup product is supposed to be good for. So a lot of my products are only good for a year or sometimes two years. For foundations, they last usually between 6 and 12 months. And eyeshadows usually last a little longer, around two years. Lip balms only last about a year or two. Just those creamy textures just tend to get old and they start smelling weird. So my goal is to use up as much of these products as I can because there's no point in rebuying all this makeup if you're never going to use the makeup that you already had. I also want to mention this is going to be really great for your budget if you do this as well because you're going to be focusing on the products that you do already have and kind of challenging yourself to either hit pan on the product or completely finish them. So what I've done is compiled a whole bunch of products that I think that I can finish by the end of the year or they may just be products that are going to be bad by the end of the year. So while they're still good products, I want to be using them as much as I can before it comes time to actually throw them out. I just wanted to quickly mention here that I found a really amazing deal on Sephora's app. I am a complete stalker of that app because I always like to see what's coming in and if there are any good deals. And I found an amazing deal. Benefit came out with this little bag and it comes with three different brow products inside the bag. What's so great about this product is Benefit has a huge range of brow products and what you can do is customize the bag to what you would like. I know myself I've been wanting to try out a bunch of their new brow products but I just can't justify the price of buying more than one pr brow product. In the bag you get three full-size brow products for only $50. When I calculated the price of all of those products without this set it was going to range around $100. So you're getting these products for half the price. So the three products that I chose is the Benefit Cabrow. This is their gel pomade and it has a little brush on the end. I'm in the shade two, so what's also great is that you can customize your shade. Another thing I got is their Bravo conditioning primer and this is just you just spin it up and you brush this on your brows. If you guys have seen Nicole Concilio's brow transformation, it is unbelievable. She's been using this twice a day and her brows look so amazing and she barely has to put product in them to make them look so good. And the last thing I got was this Precisely My Brow Pencil and this is kind of like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. That's enough out of that. I just wanted to let you guys know that this is a really amazing set. You're getting three full-size products for only $50. Now on to my Project Pan products. Starting off with this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I recently bought this a couple months ago and today when I was going through my makeup I realized that it's only going to be good for 12 months and then things start to separate or it starts to go bad. So this is definitely one of the things that I want to completely finish before the end of the year because I spent a lot of money on this. It was around $50. It's a great foundation. I just need to put a little bit more effort into using it. I also want to mention before I move on that on the bottom of each of my products, I put a little sticky tab to indicate that they are part of my project pan. So if I forget a couple months down the road, I can always just look at the bottom and there will be a sticker on the bottom to indicate that I need to use that one up. A powder that I recently bought and absolutely love is this Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. I recently got this around December, I believe, and I can already see that I have made a really big dent. I use this to set my face every single day and I don't think it's going to be an issue for me to hit pan or maybe even finish it by the end of the year. The expiry date on this one is also 12 months so I definitely need to use this one up. The Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer is a bronzer that I absolutely love and have no issue repurchasing it 
but before I repurchase a new one, I definitely want to hit pan and finish it. I don't think that'll be a problem because I have a huge dent in the middle of this already, and I think that I'm going to be hitting pan very soon. Um, this one doesn't state when it's going to be going bad, so I definitely want to be finishing it around the same time that my Too Faced one goes bad because powders are kind of similar in when they go bad. A highlighter that I spent a ton of money on, this Burberry highlighter, which is called the Spring Summer 2016 Runway Palette in Nude Gold Number no. 2. This is an extremely expensive highlighter. I bought it because it was limited edition and it was absolutely stunning. What I find really sad about this product is that I spent a ton of money on it and I barely ever use it because of the price tag, which I find is really silly because this one's going to be going bad in about 18 months and I've already had it for about six. So once the year rounds up, I should be getting rid of this, but I'm going to use up as much as I possibly can before it goes bad. Another highlighter that I love, this is the Hourglass Trio. I've had this for a really long time now. It was a gift from my boyfriend and in particular I love these two colors. Mixing them together gives you the perfect shade. This one's kind of shimmery and this one's more of a satin finish. So mixed together they make a really beautiful highlight. And actually what I did today was I layered these two on the bottom of my cheekbones and then the Burberry one on top and it just gives a really nice glow. I've used this a ton but it barely looks like I've touched it so my goal is to hit pan on both of these colors. This one's a little bit too orange for my skin tone so I won't be hitting pan on this one anytime soon. Now onto eyeshadows. This NARS duo in the color Alhambria is a beautiful duo that has two sparkly shimmer shades. One is a gold shimmer shade and one is a light pink shimmer shade. I have them both on my lids today. And they're just stunning to pair with any look, even if you just want to pop them on the center of your lids. I haven't used these in a really long time, but I found that when I used it again today, they gave off a ton of pigment. Especially for a duo, it's really good to travel with. I've had these for a long time. I haven't hit pan on them yet, but I hope that I can hit pan on them by maybe six months. That might be a stretch, but I'm going to try. Another product that I spent a whole lot of money on, this is the Becca, Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection Eye Palette. And I'm actually obsessed with this palette. It's really great. I don't have a lot of trouble with kickback, kickback or anything. This shade in particular, which is called Cordial, is my favorite. It's a perfect transition shade for me and I love it. I'm going to try and start reaching for this a lot more. It's been neglected over the past couple months and I definitely need to get myself back into it. My Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. This palette was the second palette I ever bought and it has lasted me forever. And these two shades in particular, Lemon and Nooner, are my favorite. Sometimes I will just grab this palette just to use these two shades and I will use them in my crease constantly, but I've noticed there's a little bit of dip in them. Even then, I haven't even come close to hitting pan on them. So these are another two colors that I really want to hit pan on. Just because after those two colors are gone, I won't, I won't really have a need for this palette. Um, because those are the two colors that I reach for all the time. Also, this palette on the back, it says that it will last for 12 months. Which I find is a little bit of a stretch because someone using up an entire palette in 12 months or even throwing away a palette, a full size palette like this, is unlikely. A lot of people keep their palettes for years and years and years and they're still okay to use. So I'm also going to take that into consideration. I'm going to test the products out before I just throw them out. This is the ColourPop eyeshadow in Bill. This has been one of my favorites of their Super Shock collection. I've already hit pan on this quite a bit, but I don't think that it's a huge stretch for me to hit more pan or even finish it by the end of the year. So that's also going to be in my Project Pan collection. This MAC eyeshadow in In Bloom is a gorgeous shadow. I love how the pan is super big. Compared to the regular size, this is the comparison. It came in a collection, so unfortunately it is discontinued and I won't be able to get it anymore. But this is the eyeshadow I use every single day to set down my eyeshadow primer. It's also a color that I throw on even if I want a really natural look. I use this color constantly and I haven't even hit pan on it. And it doesn't look like I'm going to hit pan soon. 
This is a really sad one for me because I don't want it to run out, but I use it so much that it's bound to run out someday. This is a NYX Matte Eyeshadow in the color Trist. Unfortunately, this one is also discontinued or I just haven't been able to find it anywhere in store or even online. As you can see, I've hit a ton of pan on this one and that is because I use this as a brow powder. This one is really great just to throw in your eyebrows. Powder is the easiest way to fill in your brows, I must say. I love the way this looks. It's really difficult to mess up putting powder in your brows. You can just wipe away any mistakes that you make. So this is how it looks right now and I'm sure it's gonna look even worse in a few months. I have two concealers in this challenge. One is the RMS Beauty Uncover Up Foundation. I believe it's a foundation and concealer. I use it for concealer mostly. This is what it looks like. It's a cream product so you know that it's not going to last forever. In fact, it says it's only going to last for 12 months. This one has a better chance of going bad, unfortunately. So I definitely want to use up as much as I can by the end of the year. The other concealer is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is one that I spent a ton of money on online just to get it before it came in Sephora. I definitely want to use this up completely before it goes bad. This one won't go bad right away, but I just want to make more of an effort to use this one because I tend to reach towards other concealers at the moment and this one kind of gets neglected. So I wanna put this in the challenge so that I remember to use it. I have three lip balms to mention because some of them are going to be going bad and others I've already almost finished. So let's start off with this MAC Shush Tender Tone Lip Balm SPF 12. So this lip balm I got a while back. I don't think you can get this anymore it's been it's really old but I'm almost done it as you can see I don't even think it's going to take me six months to finish it because it's such an amazing balm another lip balm is this Sephora super smoothing lip butter and this is a really great balm I highly recommend getting it at Sephora I've already made a huge dent in it right now the reason why I have three lip balms in here is because it doesn't take me very long to go through a lip balm, so I don't think that these will be a problem. Also, this one's practically done, so I don't think that will be an issue. The last lip balm in this challenge is the Pre Pretty Me Up Tender Talk Lip Balm by MAC. This one, as you can see, I still have a whole bunch of product to get rid of here. I'm going to start leaving this in my purse so that I can use it up. The last product that I have and the only lipstick product, this is like a lip crayon. I just got this in a little gift or um, one of the perks and this one is in the color Glacé. I don't think it's going to take me very long to finish but I wanted to put it in this video because I feel like it's getting neglected all the way over there where my lip products are. Those are all my products for the Project Pan Challenge. I challenge you guys to go through your makeup stash and look through the products that might be expiring and try and use them up so that they don't go to waste. So now that you have seen all of my products, I'm going to spend six months using up those products as much as I can and at the six month mark, I'm going to be doing a check-in so that I can show you guys where I'm at with all of the products that I mentioned, if those products are doing well or if I need to be using them up even more. But that doesn't mean I won't have other videos up in the meantime, so subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!